Welcome to Project Turkey Medis. I am teacher Roslyn and today we will learn the visibility rules for 4, 8, 12 and 11. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to use the visibility rules for 4, 8, 12 and 11 to find the common factors of numbers. Let's begin. The visibility rules tell whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. This rule is a shortcut way to decide whether a number is exactly divisible by another number without doing division computation. Let's start with the divisibility rule for 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits form a number that is divisible by 4. Also, numbers ending in two zeros are divisible by 4. For example, 812. Is 812 divisible by 4? Let's take a look at the last digits of the number. The last two digits of 812 is 12. If we divide 12 by 4, the answer is 3. Therefore, the answer is yes. 812 is divisible by 4. Specifically, 812 divided by 4 is equal to 203. Let's have another example. 300. Is 300 divisible by 4? Let's take a look again at the last digits of the number. The last two digits of 300 are two zeros. Since the rule states that if a number ends with two zeros, it is divisible by 4. Therefore, our answer is yes, 300 is divisible by 4. Let's proceed to the divisibility rule for 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by its last three digits is divisible by 8. Also, numbers ending in three zeros are divisible by 8. For example, 12,184. Is 12,184 divisible by 8? Let's take a look at the last three digits of the number. The last three digits of 12,184 is 184. If we divide 184 by 8, the answer is 23. Therefore, yes, 12,184 is divisible by 8. Thus, 12,184 divided by 8 is 1,523. This time, let's have 85,000. Is 85,000 divisible by 8? Let's take a look at the last three digits of the number. The last three digits of 85,000 are three zeros. The rule states that if a number ends with three zeros, it is divisible by 8. Thus, 85,000 is divisible by 8. Our next divisibility rule is for 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. For example, 1,716. Is 1,716 divisible by 12? Let's check whether the number is divisible by 3 and 4. To check if the number is divisible by 3, Let's add all the digits of the number. 1 plus 7 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to 15. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Since 15 is divisible by 3, therefore, 1,716 is divisible by 3. Now let's see if 1,716 is divisible by 4. Let's take a look at the last two digits of the number. The last two digits of 1,716 is 16. If we divide 16 by 4, the answer is 4. Since 16 is divisible by 4, 
Therefore, 1,716 is divisible by 4. In conclusion, since 1,716 is divisible by both 3 and 4, therefore 1,716 is divisible by 12. And for our final rule, the divisibility rule for 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of the digits in the even places is either 0 or divisible by 11. Let's have this example. 22,264 Is 22,264 divisible by 11? First, let's separate the digits in odd places. These are 4, 2, 2. Second, let's identify the digits in the even places. These are 6 and 2. Third, let's find the sum of the digits in odd places. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 8. Fourth, let's find the sum of the digits in the even places. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Last step. Let's find the difference of the two sums. 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. The difference of the two sums is 0. Therefore, 22,264 is divisible by 11. That's the end of our lesson. I hope that you learned a lot from today's session. Thank you very much and stay safe.